After 60 years of migrating to car-dominated suburbs, a larger share of Americans want out of long commutes in favor of neighborhoods where jobs and stores are nearby. Here's more. This scenic lakeside cabin outside Chattanooga, Tennessee, had it all for Spencer McCauley, except location. Gosh, I would drive for 45 minutes to get there, and then I would drive 45 minutes back. McCauley is part of a widening group of Americans who are choosing crosswalks over cul-de-sacs. We're certainly finding um, that buyers want to be within walking distance to what cities have to offer. Both empty nesters and new families are driving the demand for urban living, resulting in higher prices. The typical cost of a new home now tops $320,000, six times the median U.S. household income. Historically, Americans have bought homes worth about three times their annual income. Developers have made a conscious choice to build fewer homes but charge higher prices in order to maintain their profit margins. That's led to developers breaking ground on row home developments like Base Camp River North in Chicago, where units start at a half million dollars. Shorter commutes to work, uh, greater accessibility to restaurants and to shopping and to public transportation. A new poll by the American Planning Association says roughly 40 percent of the country still lives in a suburb, but just 7 percent of those surveyed hope to stay there. The problem is we've had 60 years of suburban-based construction that is focused on the car, and so we have a mismatch between what people want and between what the market's providing. McCauley says adjusting to city life has been easy. Backyard strolls replaced by short trips to see local performances. Well, that's great fun. And then after that, we left with six other people and ate at one of our favorite restaurants and came home. Would not have done any of that had we lived the 28 miles out. All part of a dramatic shift toward downtown living. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.